Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how to set up version control on your WordPress website. There are many ways to set up version control on your WordPress website but for most of them you need Git installed on your hosting uh, server or machine. Now Git is a technical and a complicated term. If you don't know anything about Git or you don't know how to install then you can contact your hosting provider and ask them whether Git is installed or not or you can request them to install on your machine. You can also follow this video and see if it works. If it does then you don't need to contact your hosting provider to install Git. This process is completely free and open source and if you are a developer then you can uh, help in developing uh, this plugin which I'm going to use in this uh, video. So the first thing we are going to do is search for version press it's a plugin it's an open source plugin which which allows you to set up git on your wordpress website so you can track everything done by every user or even comments by the the normal uh, website visitor so once we are on this website click on view project on github you can read more about uh, the version press software here if you want to for now we will just go to the releases tab of uh, version press you can uh, put releases at the end of the url and click on download the latest version once it has downloaded you click on add new in plugins uh, menu on your wordpress website and click upload click choose file and uh, select the file which we just downloaded and click on install now Once the plugin is installed and activated, you will see version control right on the top. Version press, sorry. So for the first time, you have to uh, activate this plugin and uh, make sure you read everything before activating because some, uh, some of the settings might not be suitable for you. So uh, once the plugin is activated, you will be able to see something like this this is the first message as you can see because we haven't changed anything on our website you can see it has already um, saved these these files and 5234 more so let's go to one of the posts and uh, let's change something let's change something in this post and see what happens I'm going to change this line uh, list to unordered list and update. Even though you even though you don't refresh the page, you will see this message whenever a change has occurred. There are newer changes available. Refresh now, and you can click on refresh now to refresh all those changes. You can see we only did a minor change and uh, there are a bunch of lines in the on the plugin uh, page now you don't have to worry about all of these lines if you are a beginner uh, you have to just find the post and uh, the the title of the post and click on that post to see what was changed and uh, in the overview section you won't be able to fully understand if you click on full difference you will be able to see what was changed uh, uh, on that post you can see it was uh, ol ordered list before and it is ul now which is unordered list even though if someone comments on one of the uh, posts you will be able to see that comment I'm going to put uh, a comment here and see if it works. Yep, you can see new comment for post how to get AdSense approval. If you click on this and click on full difference, you will be able to see the comment, uh, including the author email and uh, uh, test comment, the, the comment and everything. If you want to go back to on the top you will be able to see version press running which means version press is detecting everything on the website if you want to go back to 
uh, to one of the versions or if you have made a mistake or, or anything and you want to go back you can click on roll back to this and the website will go back to that stage so let me show you if I click on roll back to this for developer preview releases please have a backup backup is essential and uh, uh, recommended so if you have a backup available then please back up the site before uh, doing that so click ok and uh, you will be able to see the site has went back to the the previous stage so if I refresh the page now you won't be able to see my comment and uh, you will see ordered list instead of unordered list so that's how you set up and manage version control to learn more about version control you can google version control and learn more about its features and how it works version control is a very important topic but it is also complicated it helps you a lot if you are working in a team as it tracks every moment on your project and on your website so yep thanks very much for watching i hope the video helped like the video if it helped and subscribe to my channel for more videos and until then take care